Good morning or afternoon. This is my social studies project on Homo erectus, or otherwise known as Homo ergaster, and why they are the most influential among their hominid relatives. So without any further ado, this is why we think Homo erectus is the most important or significant hominid. Let's first talk about what Homo erectus means in terms of taxonomic rank. Taxonomy is a method of classifying all organisms. When naming an animal or organism, one starts by finding their genus. In this case, it would be Homo, meaning person or man. And then the species, erectus, meaning standing upright. So together, they literally translate to person standing upright. Another example of this would be Homo ergaster, which translates to workman. I want to point out that Homo erectus wasn't the first of its kind to stand upright. Homo habilis was. But because habilis was discovered after erectus, they didn't change the name. Let's talk about Homo erectus. Homo erectus lived between 1.3 million years to 150,000 years ago. It was around the height of modern humans, or five or six feet tall, and had no fur of any kind. It was the first of its kind to finally move and spread outside of Africa because of its newest and most notable discovery, the ignition of fire using pine resin. This allowed Homo erectus to survive in colder environments and to scare away predators with ease. In addition, this led to the ability of cooking meat, which was their primary food source, and caused their jaws to be smaller. Additionally, Homo erectus hunted in groups using tools like spears. They also could communicate using basic language because they had a larynx, though it wasn't fully developed like the ones us modern humans have. They also had the ability to care about others as a result of a bigger brain. Despite the fascinating discoveries and accomplishments of Homo erectus, they did not have a culture at all. No cave paintings, no religion, and certainly no burial practices. These were first seen with Homo neanderthalensis. Homo erectus discovered and harnessed the power of fire, developed a neocortex in basic language, wore clothing, cooked meat, and even crafted complex tools. They were the singular early species that made us the apex predators, and that is why I think they are the most important hominid to date.